changed since then. Injured Hugh Murray and ineligible Paul McGowan were missing for St Mirren. In came Sean Lynch and 18-year-old Kenny McLean. Thomas Rogner, Efren Juarez and Chadu Ree back in for Celtic. Out Giorgio Samaras, Jos Hoyveld and suspended Joe Ledley. Highlights with Paul Mitchell. Celtic looking to bounce back after the defeat against Hearts. Here's Wilson. Wilson. Jadhuri. Up again. Away from McGregor. Another good cross ball into the box from Celtic, but off target. Van Zantem. Well, got away from Maloney. Fortunate touch. Van Zantem looks up. Higdon in the middle. Might have a dig from here. Up and down. And rattle the bar. Gordy tries to get it away. Wardlaw is in there. Well, Celtic causing their own problems here. Losing the ball inside their opponent's half. Van Zanten across. Higdon brought it under control. A lovely dipping shot. Forced in a bit of trouble. Saved by the bar. One ball. Hooper. It's a good save, though. Murphy flicked it on well. Hooper coming through. Up well the substitute. Hooper just not enough power on the header. Celtic won 27 of the 37 SPL games in Paisley. Pushing once more. Low ball across. Shot Maloney. It doesn't even go behind. Goes out for a throw on the far side. Lovely little ball across from again. Maloney opened himself up way too much. Just pulling out the challenge there slightly, Juarez. And now somebody can move forward. Wardlaw moves away from Astorovic. Wardlaw going in, trying to get the shot away. Decent save from the goalkeeper. Although I suspect Wardlaw slipped here as they got the shot away. The left leg went. It was the right foot trying to get power. Wilson on to McGinn. McLean up against him. McGinn for the byline. Gets it across Murphy. Side net denies Celtic. Well, Saints with one home clean sheet this season. And against Hibbs, find the goal under threat again. Juarez, decent pass. On to Murphy. Hooper, Hooper slides the ball through to Nam again. Goalkeeper beats the ball away. Comes back near Sean Maloney, that's handball. He doesn't like the call, but that was handball. Well, slick again from Celtic. Hooper tried to play through McGinn, he was onside, the snapshot beaten away by the goalkeeper. OK, that's a delightful ball. Murphy is there, sent across and turned behind by John Potter. Well, the referee says goal kick, but I don't think Hooper got a touch on this. Lovely little driven ball across and credit to John Potter. Paddy McCourt inside Celtic. Continuing to attack, that's a delightful ball through, real chance. The goalkeeper gets a touch. Frustration again for Celtic. McGregor may have got a touch on this as McGinn came through, just off his leg. And the arm of the goalkeeper doing enough. Here comes Maloney. Good challenge. There's a good it. Sends it out wide. On to McCourt, stoppage time. McCourt. Shimmy's on the outside, turns it across, Hooper, turn back to Hooper! And an injury time, Gary Hooper scores for Celtic. He got two chances, he took the second one. Played out wide onto McCourt. McCourt, the little shimmy, sent the ball across, beating Van Santen. It came off Potter, back onto Hooper. Injury time, elation for Celtic. It's injury time, despair for St Mirren. One ball played forward, that's a hopeful back hitter, Mastorovic has to go in. Well, David Barron closing down, Celtic loose here, and David Barron almost getting the chance, that's a good challenge. 